I want you to get the best product possible. I want you to get the best service possible. But I don't want to hear your story about those old days are with me. You just wasted some time. Fuck with. You are about to enter the courtroom on the VHS Brickton. The messages are real. The cases are real. And the rulings are final. This is my call. This is Thrift Judge. Today we are looking at eight eBay messages. Eight eBay messages that we are going to judge. We're going to judge how stupid some of these people really are. Order in this court. First up today is a message from a buyer. From a buyer to a seller. From Just Go Away. Hi, sorry, can I cancel this order? It appears my twerp cousin tried to swindle this out of me, spoiled brat, as she doesn't have an account too young and I had mine open in, sorry for this inconvenience, is it too late to cancel? Well, first off, just go away. Your uh, English or grammar or the way you type is not very good. So I'm gathering you are from grade five or you're a 30 year old fuckwit that just doesn't know fucking proper grammar English. In my courtroom, we don't tolerate that shit. Now eBay customers like you, like just go away. You want to cancel an order because someone else in your family has accidentally swindled and accidentally clicked on it. Well, I'm sentencing you to fucking scammer, scammer, scammer. Next case. Next case is from Bless You. Bless You is an eBay buyer that is replying to a seller that cannot find their package. Let's review this case. I didn't get it. Where is it? Where is it? I asked my family and all me neighbors. Me neighbors. All me neighbors. Definitely Australian, this one. All me neighbors. There's no package for me. I looked all around the house, the garden, and all the plants and trees, and even the other sidled the house on the garage side and in the back. And there's nothing, this package is not anywhere. It's not here, it's not there, it's not over the fence, it's not next door. I didn't even think of checking the tracking, you dumb twit. Please just refund, honey. Does she have a right to call anyone, honey? I don't think so. Have a blessed year. Well, how do you know the seller doesn't worship Satan? Have a blessed year. I can't find my package anywhere. Listen up, bless you. I am sentencing you. Fucking check your trucking. That is check your trucking, you stupid cunt. The fucking platypus has spoken. You're fuckwit. You're a fuckwism fuckwit. Scammer. <laughs> judges fucking wear this shit, alright? Especially thrift judges. Platypus. Next one is from Red One. Red One is a buyer sending a message to a seller. New message, Red One. I wanted to make sure the item I brought was red. Like tomato red or cherry red. Not pink, pinkish red. Like I thought it was described. Oh shit. It is on its way and if it doesn't arrive i will report you i am fine with it being late if it isn't the item i want not including wrong colors already you know you're getting already you know you're getting an open case from this one like then i will report it as not arriving because I ordered other things and wouldn't know it was your item sold to me. I should really give the real name of this account out. Everyone should block this idiot. <laughs> if it isn't the right shade of red, I am getting spray paint. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Fuck. 
off. All right, okay. We're in court here. No time to fuck around. All right, if it if it isn't the right shade of red, I'm getting spray paint. If it isn't red at all, then I will report that to eBay since I ordered one red one. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, red one. Oh, red one. You see, red one, everyone has the right to be stupid and thick and dumb, but you just abuse the privilege right there. <laughs> Sentenced to being a fuckwit. Next one comes from a buyer, found it cheaper. Found it cheaper says, cancel order. Hi, I request to cancel this and I didn't mean to purchase. And somehow this was ordered while my phone was in my pocket. Yeah, sure. I... <laughs> it was ordered while I was in my pocket. Fuck me, there's some fucking good ones in there. I wanted to check the status of my cancellation request. Your request is denied, you fucking dumb stupid scamming prick that's found it cheaper somewhere else. You're a fuckwit, that's what you are. Next one comes from Call Me, who got sent an offer from a buyer. You received an offer, Call Me. US $125 plus only $5 US shipping. That is a fucking bargain. So this must have been a couple of years ago. Prices are going up. Very important and urgent question before I submit the payment. Kindly accept my offer and give me a text. Number blanked out there because we don't want you guys harassing this fucking dumb prick. Get back to me ASAP. Now first of all, I would never call a number that you would put on there for me to call you. Are you that fucking thick? Uh, now I've already sent the offer to you Kindly accept my offer. You're saying you're a bit of a fuckwit. Uh, give me a text to get back to me. Uh, there's some important questions. I really don't want to know your questions and don't want to get stung by some international bullshit. Uh, call me. You can fuck off. That's what you're getting. Fuck off. See, there's people like you call me that we just don't need. We just don't need that shit, all right? Next up is Game Scammer. Uh, it's a message about Harvest Moon Nintendo DS game. <clears throat> hey there. I forgot to change my address to my new residence. New sellers don't get fucking tricked by these types of pricks. They're fucking pricks. Could you please ensure that the product is sent to blah 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 in Victoria? Please shoot me a message to acknowledge the change. Thanks, and I hope you're doing well during this time. During this time. Hope you're doing well during this time. During COVID, where everyone needs that a little bit of extra cash, but I'm gonna rip you off, because you're gonna send it to a different address that the tracking is, and eBay ain't gonna fucking even, even protect you, because they're gonna protect the bloody buyer, and your tracking's gone to another address. <laughs> Fuck you, game scammer. And fuck anyone else that's a game scammer out there, you're all pricks. Never drink in court. Oh, delicious. These are all legit, 100% legit. We've all had fucking idiots send us shit. So let's go to the next one. We've got two left, two left. This one is the VHS My Sesame Street Home Video Big Bird Storytime VHS. And that indeed would be a damn good video. Buyer's name is I'm a Muppet. I'm a Muppet says, has this video been played before? As it says, good condition. <laughs> well, good condition really means it is actually in pretty good condition, wouldn't you think? The seller has replied, definitely played before and works perfect. To me, I would buy it straight away because that means it's in damn good condition. I'm a Muppet replies, awesome. In the future, I will buy it and have it transferred 
onto a DVD. As I don't have a VCR anymore. Those are the old days with me now. Listen up, I'm a Muppet. I really don't give a fuck about your life story. I want you to get the best product possible. I want you to get the best service possible, but I don't want to hear your story about those old days are with me. You just wasted some time. Fuck with. That's what you're sentenced to. You're a fuck with and a time waster. Time waster as well. Sorry, platypus. <laughs> Following is from Smelly P. Smelly P has sent a pretty damn nasty message. This is a message from a buyer to a seller. Now, turn off now and don't kill me because this is actually real and probably the craziest message I've ever had to judge. This is from Smelly P, a buyer. Hey, smelly pussy, stinky ass bitch. It took you so long to give me a negative feedback. What were you doing, sucking dick? See in the pictures, all have games in them. You filthy low down bitch. You have 750 feedbacks and still you are not 100%, which shows what a crooked, lying, cunning bitch you are. <laughs> Pretty nasty. I, I would actually be upset if I got this sent to me. Go clean your smelly pussy because the smell is not making you think right. <laughs> uh, look, I know when you're angry, smelly pee. I, I don't know what this seller has done to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you be the judge of Smelly's P's message to seller. Uh, I think if I got that, I'd be pretty upset. But because it wasn't sent to me and I'm the judge, I think it's pretty damn fucking funny. And to write that shit, I'm pretty sure that person would have got blocked from eBay or at least a warning, uh, calling someone uh, a stinky ass bitch, smelly pussy, uh, cunning bitch, uh, you sucking dick all day. Uh, look. Smelly P, I, I, I don't want to sell to you, uh, even if you did get ripped off. <laughs> it's not funny, you shouldn't laugh at this. Smelly P, you're blocked from eBay. Thanks for joining me on the first episode of Thrift Judge, where we are judging idiots, assholes, and scammers all on the big platform of eBay. If you have anything to send me, send them to the Aussie VHS Thrifter in a message on Instagram. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. If you want me to do another one of these episodes and we can go through and judge these idiots, let's continue this and do so. I'm gonna make videos whenever I feel like making videos, so the next one will be whenever. It's up to your feedback and your thumbs up and likes if I continue this. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be making videos for you again. How long will it last is up to you. You need to click like and subscribe. Give me some feedback. And on Instagram, send me some messages from eBay customers and we can judge them. If you have any dumbass eBay customer questions or complaints, send them to Instagram, Aussie VHS Thrifter and I will judge them.